give us understanding unto the same thing. Only the word of God can change your world. As you listen to this broadcast by Christian Information Network Ministry, your world shall change. Let's show you the way. The way to power. The way for sustenance. And because you also, you want that business to continue. You want to listen to them. But if you say, no, I am not interested. Eh, you are not interested. Me. That like your mother. Because I like you. I invite you. You say you are not interested. Ah. It is the elder that sent me to you. I don't want to talk about my bag, but I don't want to share your cat to my pay. I want to buy. I want to lie. Praise the Lord. Eh? Say the elder sent us. At the time they will send your age, your age bracket to you. Ah, my sister, my sister. Oh, my brother, my brother. And say, so, well, uh, they sent me to you. Because she has submitted to them. She's part of the kingdom. She's part of the carcass. And so they will say, go and talk to her. Because she's a graduate. You also, you are what? You're a graduate. The Oyibo, she wants to hear, you understand, go and talk to her. We, we don't know Oyibo. <laughs> but we know what we have. And they will send them on errands. And you say, you are not interested. Then the battle line is drawn. The battle for supremacy. They want to, they want to show you who is in charge? Who is not in charge? Who has a, something to say? Who is not, does not have something to say? Whose voice should be heard? Whose voice should not be heard? The battle line will be drawn. Do you know that there are so many people, your business can be going very well, very well. Suddenly, there is crisis. And as you are, you are getting rid of one crisis, you enter into another one. Especially when you say, come to society. They said we invite you to our club. Our club. It's a club meeting. Come and join our club. They are all cults. Hello. They are what? They are cults. They will not say it is Oboni. They won't say it is uh, Awapa. They won't say it is the brother. They will say it is brotherhood. Brotherhood of the stars. Eh? Ladies of destiny. The rising sun. Not our own here. Not our own day start right here, here. But they will call the beautiful name. They say, come, no, come. It is, ah, we want to show you the way so that your business is going to boom. When you take the first leg, you will not know when the other second level will enter. Some people are looking at me this morning. Maybe they are already inviting you. I'm looking at your faces this morning. Something is telling me, what you don't do it. They are already telling you, come. Come. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. There is a kingdom that we belong to. So we have for we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved. We are not ordinary. We also have a kingdom. And this kingdom is a supreme kingdom. When you talk about the battles for kingdom, battle for, domi for, for, uh, for, for domineering, to dominate, battle to take charge, Things that are going on from the global to the nations to the cities to areas to towns to villages there are different types of kingdoms and they are all fighting for supremacy. They are fighting for dominance. Hallelujah. You don't know how some people fight for chairman of Adubo. 
street chairman. And you begin to ask yourself, is there anything more than this chairman? Hallelujah. Ah, uh, you don't know. Praise God. They say, ah, just to be chairman of your streets. If there is nothing, there will not be battle for it. Anything that has to do with election, there is a power behind it. There is something behind it. When you are contesting for something, there's something you want to get, you know, you know, there. Hallelujah. I hope you read in the newspaper last one or two weeks. When, I cannot remember the number now, the wishes and the wizards, they said they are behind Tinubu, that they are prepared for the inauguration of the president. And they have said themselves that they are watching over him. That nothing is going to happen to him. So they are the one, they are the backup for him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Eh? Everybody is raising his voice. Everybody is claiming the ownership of the president. The Muslim will say, yes, it belongs to us. The wishes and the wizards said, it's our own. And I don't know what the Christians are saying. Uh, the Christians also are saying, his wife, his wife is a pastor, so it's our own. We are deceiving ourselves. The man knows where he belongs. <laughs> Praise God. You know the beating that is going to listen to. But you know the joy as I close this message is a continuous message. Amen. Is the fact that the Almighty reigns in the kingdom of men. No matter somebody to say, I am the one in charge, there is a God who reigns in the affairs of men. And because you belong to that kingdom, you are of the class of that rulership. Are you getting my point now? He said, I have said that ye are gods. And every one of you, the son of the almighty. And because you are a child of God, if you are born again, you are redeemed into this kingdom. You are born into this kingdom. Maybe I should just close with a scripture. Hallelujah. Look at that Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. No, 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 not Romans chapter 8. Look at, um, I, I left it from the beginning. Look at the book of, uh, yes, Romans chapter 8. But now verse. Hallelujah. Okay. Excuse me. This is what the Bible says. Okay. Excuse me. Let me look at um, verse. Yes. Let's look at Hebrew twelve twenty eight. He said, "Wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace." We are by we may serve God acceptably with reference and godly fear. So we have the grace. Let us receive grace. This grace is when we, we receive, when we give our life to Jesus. When you confess your sin and invite Jesus Christ into your life, then you have the grace of God with you. You have the grace of God. You know, to enjoy everything that the kingdom of God has provided. We must understand that when we find ourselves there, then we become part and parcel of the kingdom. We become part and parcel of the kingdom. Shout hallelujah. Look at Luke chapter 17. Verse 20 and 21. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, they asked from the Pharisees, they, I mean the Pharisees were asking Jesus, when the kingdom of God shall come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. 
The kingdom does not come with observation. I will explain that. Neither shall they say low air or low there. For behold, the kingdom of God is where? It's within you. The kingdom of God is within you. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, it's within you. Now, when he said it does not come by observation. When somebody gives his life to Christ, when you have the kingdom of God in you, it does not make you taller. It does not make you shorter. It does not make you to change your color. Hallelujah. It is not by observation. Amen. But it is what you carry inside. The kingdom we are talking about, why you are part of the kingdom, the supreme kingdom, is because the kingdom is within you. Shout hallelujah. If God Almighty has the final say in the affairs of men, because you belong to that kingdom, anything that is the will of God that you want to establish, you have the final say. Somebody get what I'm saying? Any situation where there are other kingdoms that are agitating for control, as somebody who has the supreme kingdom, the supremacy of the kingdom, you can, neg you can legislate. You can take a decision. And because you take that decision, God Almighty, who is the head of our kingdom, who reigns in the affairs of men, we sanction it. We bring it to manifestation. Amen. That is what we have. That is our heritage. That is the inheritance. That is well, how we can, we can demonstrate that we have a kingdom that is supreme. The kingdom that is over other kingdoms. That's why we call Jesus the king of kings. And the lord of lords. Is the king over all other kingdoms. And all those who are kings. Is the king over all dominions. He reigns and rules over the affairs of men. But if you don't take decision, nothing is going to happen. As I conclude, what kind of kingdoms or kingdoms that are trying to work against your life? What are the operations of the forces of darkness around you? Who are those people who gather themselves together? Who say that you are not going to prosper? Who are those people who thought that they are like Nebuchadnezzar? They think that their hands have found or put things in place and they are in charge. And they have forgotten that it is the almighty that reigns in the affairs of men. What is that power? What is that kingdom? Who are those people that are oppressing your life? That are oppressing your destiny. They are making. They have exercised their own power. But somebody who has received the kingdom. Who has the kingdom of God in. Within him or her. You are to take decision. You are to use your authority. And because our God reigns. And whatever you say is final. Hallelujah. These are the realities we we'll begin to look at. The kingdom realities. How you can assess these realities. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The Bible says greater is he that lives in us than he that is in the world. We shall decree a thing. It shall be established. The light will shine in our ways. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on heart shall be loose in heaven. Whatsoever we agree, when we pray, the Bible says we should believe that it shall be done and we shall have answer, our answer to our prayers. Hallelujah. We have authority. We operate from a kingdom. A kingdom that is supreme. A kingdom that cannot be pulled down. Every other kingdom of this world 
can never last forever. I said it sometimes. You know, it used to be Roman Empire. It was Rome that was ruling. <laughs> the whole world then. Before that time, it was this Babylon. And some other, you know, the Asian, the, I mean, the, the Persian and Medians. Kingdom. There are a lot of kingdoms that have existed. Alright? Roman's kingdom. There was a time that it was this Britain. You know? Shout hallelujah. I'm sure there are younger, young girls, uh, young ladies, I don't know, not ladies here, that they don't know that Britain was called Great Britain before. You know, you read it. Uh -huh. But not in your lifetime, you know. It used to be Great Britain, Great Britain. But they have removed the great in front of Britain long time, Abby. Because there is nothing great about Britain. But when it was Great Britain, they colonized so many nations. They colonized India. They gave, you know, independence to India. They gave independence to so many countries. Not only in Africa, even in Asia. Amen. It was a great Britain. But the great has been removed. It has become just ordinary Britain. Because later, a country like America took over. Hallelujah. And America also with their pride. And then I was saying during the week that America will change everything. Everything that Britain said it is way, America said it is way this way. Amen. You know, Britain still drive on the right hand side, Abby. Right hand side. Uh, so America said, mm. when they became a nation, said it is left hand side. Everything they change, they don't want. That's why your English, when you write favor, that of a Britain has you, that of America, they remove you. Praise God. You know, you know it is intentional. Praise the Lord. If you want to switch, switch of life. In America, you switch up. It's on. Down is off. <laughs> Praise God. It is intentional. Go on. I know I watch so many things. Even there are water closets. There are toilets. There are water closets. If you flush, all the one you are using, it is from British design. When you flush it like that, Abby, water will come. Mm, American water system is not like that. When you flush, eh, water does not come. Water will come from underground, Abby, and suck that thing away. They change everything. Just to tell Britain, look, we are in charge. Praise God. The way, the, the way of speaking English is different. You say oh, they are speaking that initially the British they are speaking American slang. American slang. That is their own English. If somebody say now say he's speaking slang, he's speaking slang. You know, he will cause you say yeah. You know this and that. He say he's speaking slang because he say yeah. He didn't say yes. He say he's speaking slang. That is their own English. If you write it, you pass. <laughs> Praise God. If you write the other one, you may fail. But America also is getting weak by the day. It's getting weak by the day. It's getting weak by the day. They try to change everything. You call it football. They call it soccer. Abi? Hey, that yes. What do you call football? America says it is soccer. What is football? Is the handball. The rugby. Gun, gun, Abi? There is the one that is definitely on. You call this trouser. They say it is pants. Amen. And now say the one we now wear inside, we call pant. What do they call it? It is under underwear. But what is this one? They say this one is pant. Praise God. So if you go to America now, you say, I want to buy trousers. They don't know what is trousers. This is pant. Hallelujah. Because they have the power. They can decide. But things are changing. They are trying to fight it. There is fight going on. Cold war going on between, between, between America and China. China want to... That's why we are borrow, borrow, borrow from China. And China said they are not borrowing us money again. Abi? In Nigeria, they said they don't want to borrow again. Now, because they thought that, yes, don't worry, we'll borrow you. Come, 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 come. They say now, if you want to buy something, you know, from China, you don't need to use dollar again. You can use their... Shenzhen, Abi, China, whatever. 
yuan, you can use our money so we can do transacting. They are doing all those things to gain supremacy over United States of America. There is a battle, economic battle, military battle, military might. A lot of battles are going on. I want you to understand that is how it's going on also in the kingdom of darkness. Supremacy in the field of your profession, supremacy, you know, in the field of your trade, supremacy in that area, in that domain, in that environment. People are agitating to have a control. But as a Christian, as a member of the body of Christ, don't slip off. We are we are at an advantage. We have a kingdom that cannot be moved. The kingdom that is forever. The kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Bible says, as for the extent of his kingdom, there shall be no hand. Anywhere you move, the kingdom spread. In your business, in your trade, in your properties, in your domain, everywhere you go, the kingdom of Jesus Christ is the supreme kingdom. Exercise it. But if you don't understand it, you don't know what to do about it. It is not a matter of sentiments. In this church, we take time to teach us, to teach us, to tell us, to teach us things. It is not enough to just say, okay, it's a cockbadura. You don't understand what you are praying. It is not a sensual thing. Praise God. I said, praise God. If I'm telling my child or my son, I'm your father, something must be wrong. If I'm introducing myself as his father, you understand what I'm saying? He should know that I'm his father. At that time, he's, uh, I mean, I'm the father to him, Abi. For me to say, I'm your father, then there's a problem. I don't need to tell him that I'm father before I exercise my authority as a father. At least authority that I have, you know, that is allowed to, you know, to operate as a father. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you learn, if, I, if, you, if, you, if you learn in um, Nigeria, if you fly, you learn. They will say Nigerian passport this way. Foreign passport this way. Praise God. At least that is one time we can do shakara. Praise God. Amen. Abi, that's when we can do shakara. So that when all the foreigners, whether they are American or Chinese, they want to, they begin to look at their something too. If you get to our immigration, praise God. They say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the foreigners. If I come, you know, I have a kind of boldness. I'm in Nigeria. My green passport that they don't respect in America, they don't respect. My carry my own. Yeah, this is green passport. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I shackle with my green passport. The American that is a blue passport or whatever it is. I say, you, Ali Junio, we are Nigeria. Praise God. But when we go there, our green passport, we hold it. That's why I put it by visa. What to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to do it. Because you now. They can look at your, you know, I tell you, there are people who go to immigration and they send back. Don't you want America? Don't you want to go to America? Don't you want to go to America? Don't you want They will send them back. The next flight, the next, when that plane is going back, what did he do? The immigration person just uh, at the point of entry, they will just ask, what do you want? Why are you here? And people that are not informed, when you are going to America, you want to attend a conference, but that conference has come and gone. You know, you still have your visa. Are you with me? And you now enter plane. Now that uh, the conference has come and gone. You use that conference to collect the visa. Then you have collected the visa. The visa is with you for two years. In fact, they are stepping it to five years now. Now you have the visa. So when you now want to enter, after about uh, six months of the conference, when you now say, I have money, I want to go to America. I want to go and greet somebody. When you now get there, <clears throat> they can ask and say, oh, you're welcome. 
um, what are you, why are you in America? They will ask you. And they will look at it because the condition whereby that something is issued is already in their system. The, uh, the visa they gave you in, um, in Nigeria, the condition that you are going for a conference is in their system. What you appear along. When they now say, okay, right, okay, you are for a conference, they will remind you, but the conference ended two months ago. Then what are you here for? And yes, the conference ended, then I have to come and greet my friend. They say, no. The conference you came for has ended two months ago. What are, why, are you, why are you coming in? Praise the Lord. There are people like that, they will send back from that point. Because that is a kingdom. They have their rules and regulations. You can't do any accord against them. But if it is your country, you have all the full rights and what? Privileges. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. You must understand that the kingdom realities is certain. Mysteries of the kingdom, they exist. But it's for you to know that is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. As you come in this series, I believe God is going to show you great things in the name of Jesus. Let us rise to pray. And the prayer this morning is two ways. The first thing is that if you know you are not part of the kingdom, if you are not giving your life to Jesus, you can invite Jesus into your heart. Ask the Lord to forgive you. I want the kingdom also to come within me. Let the kingdom come within me. And if you are born again, but you have not been exercising your right, you will receive grace this morning to operate in the kingdom. To operate in the kingdom. And of course, the last prayer is to exercise your authority. To confront every other kingdom. That are trying to stand. That is trying to stand against you. That is trying to walk against your life. You have a kingdom that is supreme. And so you can deal with them in a place of prayers. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Close your eyes and pray. I am pray. There's battle for supremacy. Whatever business you are doing, if you don't come to the kingdom of God, you may not last there. If you don't have access to the kingdom, you can continue to labor and labor and labor without success. Because there are kingdoms at war. There are kingdoms at war. You tell the Lord Jesus come into my heart. When you invite Jesus into your heart. Then you have the kingdom within you. You have the kingdom within you. You say Lord forgive me my sins. Your sins are forgiven. And Jesus reigns in your heart. I want you to understand. That you can exercise authority. You have the authority. To operate in the kingdom. You can bind, you can loose. You have the authority. You have the authority. As from today, exercise that authority. Exercise that authority. You can pray to God and tell him, every kingdom that are troubling my life, let them collapse this morning. Let them fall before me. Let them crumble. As the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar crumbled. Cause every strange kingdom. That are trying to dominate my life. Cause them Lord to crumble. Cause them to fall before me. Cause them to fall before me. You must understand there is a battle for supremacy. For your business to thrive. There are people that are in charge. Who feel that they are in charge. But tell them that look your father is in charge. Your father is in charge. They are not in charge. They call themselves club. They say they are society. 
They said they are association. But there is courtism going on among them. Ah, there are a lot of things going on among them. Let them know that your father has the final say. That I'm a child of God. In this business, I will succeed. I will rise. I will shine. I will rise. I will shine. Everybody is fighting for something. Everybody is fighting for something. But the question is, what are you fighting for? Or are you not fighting at all? Are you also fighting for supremacy? Are you fighting to have a control? You must not fold your hands. I will succeed. I will make it. I will make it. I don't know about you. I will succeed. The enemies will not overpower me. The kingdom of this world will not succeed over my life. My marriage will thrive. Battles against my marriage will not stand. Battles against my family will not stand. Battles of control over my business will not stand. Battles of supremacy over my, of my destiny will not stand. Our God reigns in the affairs of men. Our God reigns in all this kingdom. They must become weakened while we become stronger. Rabo si kraba shanda kadebo si kraba shanda raba. Repo si kadebo sindi kraba shanda kayagaba. Repa sundi kayege di basukraba. Reni masanda kayege di basukrobo. Reni masanda kaye. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for your people. Let them have a touch of God in their lives. Let every kingdom begin to crumble. Every battle against their glory begin to fall. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power for supremacy. In the name of Jesus. Let them begin to fall. Let them be destroyed. Let them emerge. Let the power of God begin to manifest through these lives. Let the grace of God be sufficient for them. Every closed door, command them to be open. Begin to tell the Lord. Where they say there is no way, God, make way for me. Let the kingdom of men submit to me. Let the key policies of men submit to me. They said, no way, no contract there. Let them submit to me. I said, people are not interested in that line of business. They must be interested. Because there is a kingdom that you belong to. A supreme kingdom. Christy job already. Ki a share bere. Sing one more time. Praise the I don't know whether they are threatening you in your place of work. Come and join us. Come and join us. Come and join us. And it is cult. It is secret society. And they are threatening you. You don't need to be afraid. You can bring their matter to church. Let's minister. To, let me let them pray for you. But don't submit to them. Don't agree with them. Because it is a lie. Those that will see torture you, they are there. Don't belong to other courts greater than the one they are introducing you to. They still exist there. They are there. But the power of God is forever. 
the dominion of Jesus is forever. At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you praise, Lord, for your word that has gone forth. Holy Spirit, interpret this word in every heart. In the name of Jesus. Where there is fear, Lord, let there be boldness. Let there be faith. Let everybody take authority and take dominance of his territory. May it be business. May it be career. May it be environment where we live. May it be where we walk. I pray for the anointing for dominance, which is the anointing of the kingdom. Rise upon every person in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing rise upon you now in the name of Jesus. From today, you will not be suppressed. From today, you will not be oppressed. From today, men shall not continue to rule over you in the name of Jesus. You have a kingdom within you. The kingdom that cannot be destroyed. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That from this moment, when you move, heaven moves with you. You will enjoy the backup of heaven. At all times in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today, there is any oppression going on in any life, I command deliverance in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I command healing in the name of Jesus. I command lifting in the name of Jesus. We are they say there is no way. It is the kingdom that is speaking. Let there be a way for you in the name of Jesus. Because Bible says Gogo bi toni ko saye oke toni pe ko saye loruko Jesu ko Lord ko wa ye fun o ni loruko Jesu ko lu a se teni a se pe lati oni gogo on to ba tin so ninu adura kon obirin ko bere si ma la fun o iya nu ko bere si ma sele i decree let there be miracles let there be signs and wonders let there be signs and wonders gogo eyin te o ni se loruko Jesu ko Lord ko la na fun o yin Mokbadura, fun anu, ati she yanu, toko ja o ye yin, toko ja o jore yin, lo ruko o jes ko lo ako bedi de fon yin. Mokbadura, lo ruko o jes ki yanu bre si ma shele. Lo ruko o jes konan bre si ma la. Lo ruko o jes bre si ma te si waju. Lo ruko o jes bre ma te si waju. Lo ruko o jes bre ma te si waju. Mokbadura, wan to joko, si bu joko to ye ko joko si. Ninu yi joba o kukun. Lo ruko o jesu krisi ashi wani de. Lo ruko o jesu krisi. La ray ashi wani de. Aye toto siyo oya wabe lo. In this month, you will testify. Of the goodness of the Lord, you will testify. So shall it be. The name of God the Father. The name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus name we pray. Hey, man.